In the three years you were with Rollins, as I said earlier, you released six records, you co-wrote, you toured the world. What were some of the, the um, most important takeaways from that for you musically and personally? And also, once that gig ended, did you sort of like take a, a break, a well-deserved break? Not really. We kept we kept going, trying to do as much as we could. I think, again, it was working with Henry made us be serious and straight and the work ethic was the priority. So there, that was a big takeaway of just hit the way that he worked and there was no bullshit. And there was, you know, uh, we spent a lot of time on buses together and, you know, we all had, we listened to music together and it was, it was just great. And a friendship, you know, like going, Henry was like us. We'd get to other towns and we'd go straight to the record stores together. He knew where they all were. Went to Japan with him. That was my first time in Japan. And just being able to do all those things and meeting people. This is a great story. We were hanging out and Henry called and said, Ozzy Osbourne has a new record label, Oz Records. It was called OZZ. And they had an a office building on Santa Monica Boulevard and they were having a party like to start the record label and Henry got invited and he said, can I bring the guys? And they said, sure. So we, the four of us go and Ozzy never showed up. I never saw Ozzy in walks, Dave Grohl and Taylor Hawkins. And, uh, we start talking to them or Henry starts talking to them. And, you know, they were just in Germany and we had done, a. a TV show, a TV thing in Germany of one of our festival shows, a full live concert. And they were showing it in Germany uh, a lot. We saw it on TV when we were there, you know. And Dave Grohl and Taylor Hawkins said, fuck, we watched that German TV thing you guys did. That was amazing. And they said, Sim Kane, who was the original Rollins Band drummer, Dave Grohl said, Sim Kane used to be our favorite drummer. Now it's Jason McEnroe. And I'm wow. glad that I got to tell that story because nobody even knows that story unless you're there, you know. But yeah, those two guys said that Jason was uh, their favorite drummer at that time. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's nice, man. That's a very nice testimony, man. Mm -hmm. So, hey, I want to talk about some of the tracks. And I said, hey, what you... about the guitar player? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's our new favorite guitar player, too. 